joint director in his house and other deals. So far, we have, I am welcoming you all to the symposium on enhancing fish consumption, imaginative and pragmatic pathways, supported by NFDB, NAHA project and Indian, uh, Indian Fisheries Association under the major program, Fisheristic, Future of Fisheries Imagine Now. So far, we have divided the participants into the three groups under the certain thematic areas and we have asked them to come up with the, uh, with the presentation and then group leaders are asked to present here. And now I would like to invite the group A, part, group A leader with the theme of the group A was innovative products, packaging and beyond. Please all uh, team leaders know, please be specific with your presentation and try to complete within five minutes. Group A leader is Angela. Good afternoon dignitaries, my dear staffs, my friends. We had a discussion for one hour regarding the topic innovative products, packaging and beyond. And uh, we have shortlisted the points which we want to convey to you. Initially, we are taking, speaking of the, see, these are my group members and my conveyors are Mahvish sir, Abla sir and the facilitators are Dr. Sanat Kumar sir and Dr. Lani Kurjani ma'am. And initially, if we are speaking of seafood products, mainly if we are going to a supermarket, we are able to see chicken, uh, chicken products, meat products packed in a very good state, kept in the frozen conditions. But if we want fish, immediately we are going to the markets or the coastal areas or landing centers to get fish. This is mainly because of the law availability of proper packaging of fish materials. So initially, we are starting with proper packaging materials for fish so that the fish products also will be available in all the supermarkets which will be accessible at all the time. And if you are taking in inland areas, we are not able to get the marine fishes because of improper packaging and transport facilities. So if you want, and the consumers also want live fishes or the fishes which are caught immediately. They don't prefer for frozen and chilled products because they don't think that, they think that the packed products which we are getting are months old. So we have, we want to develop a packaging based on active packaging, intelligent packaging. In active packaging, we can use the carbon dioxide emitters, carbon dioxide absorbers, oxygen scavengers, and ethylene scavengers and all. And um, in this active packaging also, so by that, if we are seeing, we, we will, the, if the fish, the quality of the fish also can be maintained. In intelligent packaging, we want to have the labels. In that labels, we will have indicators like phenolphthalein or methylene blue. So that it will be in a blue or pink color. So when the fish is uh, uh, kept outside for a long chain, apart from the cold chain, when the fish starts deriorating, it will re release amines. So that amines will react with the labels. So when the amine is reacting with the color labels, it will change color. So the labels itself will indicate whether the fish is in a good condition or not. So by seeing the packaging itself, the consumer will be given a guarantee that the given pack product is a very good quantity uh, and it is of a fresh quality. And uh, in here, this is an example in here, you can see that it is a blue color, which means the product is very fresh and it is good. So when it starts to come out of the cold chain, the color change will be different. So by seeing that itself instantly will give a, uh, confidence to the uh, consumers that it is of a very good quality. And labeling of the fish products. Now if we are seeing irradiated products, that is a separate logo for the irradiated food products. Likewise, we have want to have some label for IEO fishing. So that the fisheries resource also will be in a sustainable level for a long time. The fisheries resource also will be maintained. And the product which we are consuming is from a regulated fishing. So the, like, so the people who are consuming also will be benefited. And the fishery resource also will be maintained for a long time. And the packaging material which we are using now is mainly of fully of politics, uh, polythene. So we have to have some recyclable ma packaging materials like uh, we can use chitosol, alginates, seaweed based materials which can, which will degrade in the course of time and we can reduce the microplastics which are entering into the seafood chain. So by these by changing these packaging areas, we can reduce the pollution and also the confidence among the fish consumers and the product which we are giving to the consumers also will be of good quality. And uh, for in case of innovative products, we can give uh, collagen peptide powders. These collagen peptide powders are, uh, can be consumed as such and this can be given in drinks also. 
since collagen is required for the human uh, health and it is good for skin for a anti aging and all it will be of great uh, innovation and uh, carotenoid for body odor control is being extracted from uh, like uh, acetyl from uh, shrimp shells and all we are extracting carotenoids that can be used and uh, some algae is also it has been used for slippers and uh, that can be used in packaging also so it won't pollute the environment and the uh, wide resources can be used as such and uh, fish leather fish skin we are uh, generally now is going into fisheries go waste which can going into garbage can be reutilized and it can be given again into the circular economy and protein powders generally nowadays for bodybuilders or uh, health conscious people are going for protein powders generally it is whey powders but we uh, fish is a major source of protein can be used for making protein powders which can be marketed in an area that these health uh, bodybuilders or can be advised to you uh, take, take protein powders and for baby food if we are saying we are not they are not able to give fish that is because of the uh, fish bones or the digestible nature of the infants now we have many pro uh, vegetable based and fruit based uh, powders which we are giving to infants like serlox and all that is because it is in a consumable form which is easily digestible by the infants and the elderly people who are not able to chew or having some uh, conditions those who are not able to you swallow food they are given liquid foods so for that kind of people we can give this fish protein powders which can be given as a health drink or some uh, like a powder which can be made into a paste and can be given that can be that that will increase the fisheries resource available and uh, we have uh, be yes. and uh, cultivated seafood uh, generally we are having fish we are uh, we are exporting fish from the sea but uh, we have cultivable seafood also which people are not aware which is a lab grown meat so so people who are thinking like a non veg it is approval to animals can be uh, covered in this area and seafood which is mainly available can be used in various sectors like uh, vegetarians also can have uh, nutrients from the sea and uh, many other innovative products like value added products like uh, cutlets and all is not immediately available it is developed but like chicken uh, burgers and all we don't have fish burgers in every outlet so that should be made available to everyone and for storage and all we are using ice recyclable water which is a major part of contamination for that if we are using gel pack it can be reusable <coughs> water level will be reduced and the contamination can be reduced and cold storage area in all the uh, coastal areas has to be implemented by the government so we get, get a good quality of fish and live fish restaurants so that the fish uh, the people those are getting will know that a uh, quantity or quality which they are receiving is of good and uh, general awareness to the people is of much needed because uh, people are not aware that in horlicks if you are taking they are saying that it is good for the development of infants because of epa and dha but they are directly getting that from the fish but they are not advertising it in the way generally when the milk came into application they were advertising that milk is good for calcium They, uh, so we have to give the target group which the the host who don't know the uh, ideas of that and we have to give them and in uh, small scale fisheries also that uh, they are giving only dry products we have to say that there is a value added products which they can give and improve their economy also thank you thank you angela team for walking us through various potential products that can be used to increase the fish consumption now very good evening to all of you director cit galaxy of team i the the rational of our discussion was based on how to make indian fisheries marketing a global and an international uh, food processing channel so my group members were following and my the uh, there were several propositions that we put forward some of uh, them are we try to come up with strengthening the value chain which is to improve the uh, transportation and the storage collaborative networking by using aid of some e-commerce sites like geomart amazon <coughs> fresh and dishes on board and on site awareness this is a very good initiative why we can go for a graffiti art on the walls of the landing centers which will not only be free to our eye but will also increase the consu consumption demand and production uh, the another was to create the scope for diversified products we have seen a well-paced study of like sashimi which is a 
well known uh, product in Japan and the biggest delicacy. A similar product can be induced in uh, India where we just rely on fish and we can think beyond fish only. The another one was better handling practices by using some we have seen in Korea, Japan and Thailand the hygiene practices are so well on landing centers that people who are so well off they even come to landing centers for, uh, for marketing but in India there is no such case in India you will always find big people going to uh, marts and going to malls for fish uh, for uh, taking the fish but in India but uh, the next one was live marketing of course we know that there should be better infrastructure facilities for live marketing, providing aerators and things like that can help in marketing of the fish. Things like no wet fish can increase the traceability of the fish and uh, uh, the success of the uh, rice and wheat in, in, uh, to the uh, consumption of the fish can be owed to schemes like Pradhan Mantri Gali Kalyan Yojana and uh, uh, Purdue PDS. But in fisheries, we have seen there is no such thing, it has never been included in the ration. So we can think of that where the government of India can, in, can put up the fish as a staple food in the diet of the pretty common man. It can help in marketing and increasing the consumption of the fish. Unification of FPOs, we all know that unified what the government is doing right now, the FPOs, they are so unified and it can help in uh, direct sales of the fish produce. To the people, it can not only increase the margin of the fishers, but will also uh, reduce, uh, but will also increase the consumer's uh, share in its rupee. Uh, target marketing to specific age groups of children in schools. Include fish products in festivals. We have seen the grand success of festivals like Viswat, the Savapoli festival. We are no new to it. The same things can be done in different parts of the country where the fish can be induced in such way. Street food trucks, a very well case study has been seen in Telangana and Gujarat which have been done on the pilot basis but now they have been a great success. And addition of fish in many symposium or conference based cuisine can also help in increasing the consumption of the fish. The most of the local markets can be integrated and GIS based traceability can be increased for the fish. Uh, the uh, capacity building, cooperatives and more schemes can be put up, frequent conduct of fish festival, next generation uh, fisheries professionals, uh, PMSP should be given subsidy to small refrigerated uh, trucks and campaign and awareness programs should be included. Out of the given, uh, there were so many propositions, so we try to extract some of the basic policy, uh, some of the basic initiatives which can be done. For example, the first one is the unified e-market uh, e platform. We all are well aware of uh, NAM and ENAM, and they have been the great success in agri market. A similar market like National Fisheries Market can be given up, which can unify all the fisheries in India. It can not only increase the production, it will increase the consumption, it will increase the demand. So it has both implicit as well as explicit effects. Um, the next one is the improved traceability via blockchain. Although it's a long-term initiative, it will take ages, but still the, pro the initiative is so good that you can come to know that where your fish came from, what stages it went through, and it, it, you can get to know everything about your fish. Of course, policy initiatives, we know that without government, we can't do anything. Uh, what I said, Pradhan Mantri Garib Kalyan Yojana, uh, PTS, targeted PTS, all those majors, we have, they, have, they are doing wonders in agriculture, and right now agriculture is only on green revolution, point zero, three point zero. But in fisheries, although being the sunrise sector, no such major has been put forward. We can think of policy initiatives where, uh, like right now, Pradhan Mantri Matsaya Sampada Yojana, a similar initiative can be put up and we can do wonders <coughs> in the sector. Fish festivals, of course, Fish a couple of days ago, Fish Swat, yesteryear, the Vesava Poli Festival, how good it has done and how good it is doing and what we can do in different sects of India how we can increase the fish consumption, how pleasant we can make it. Uh, GIS, sorry, I'm not done yet. Uh, direct sales via FPOs, I said the unified market can be created and the producer and the consumer can directly be linked. There's no need of intermediaries in between. 
and the next one is creating a GIS based database. We know that we, all of us, we know that we don't know many of the fish markets over here. We don't know the location. Why are we so backward? Why can't we think, why can't we make a GIS based database that can help us to locate all of the fish markets? You can go directly there, you can have your fish directly from there. And uh, street food, of course, I said Telangana has been a great, uh, we know, success story of Telangana. It has done a wonder, wonderful job, so what we can do. And knowledge transparency and increasing literacy among the consumers. We In the Tamil Nadu, the fish consumption stopped all of a sudden when people came to know that they were adding formula in the products. That was because there was no, the knowledge was not so transparent. So transparency of knowledge is an important aspect of marketing. And certification and branding, strengthening marketing services by uh, uh, making the services such as transportation and storage so well off, which can give edge to our fishers in global as well as domestic markets. And live fish marketing access and delivery is one of the important aspects of fish marketing. Thank you all. Thank you, Ms. Sarva and team, for the wonderful, pragmatic, and imaginative approaches to increase the fish consumption. Next group is next group theme is digital technology tools for enhancing fish consumption, and the group leader is Mr. Chanakya. Very good evening. I, I will be very specific. Uh, so uh, the theme is like digital technology using digital technology and digital tools for promoting fish consumption. These are my group members. So India, why India is a potential market? India has a population of 141. So previously India, we used to think population as a burden, but now the population is our greatest strength. So we have uh, world is whole world is looking at us, 141 crore population in that 40% uh, are uh, vegetarians and six, uh, 80 crores are non-vegetarians. So these, our intention is using this digital uh, market or digital uh, technology. 56 crores are vegetarians, 85 crores are non-vegetarians. Improve the frequency of e eating fish in this non-vegetarians is one intention. And in the 56 crores, we have to convert the, uh, the culturally, we can't convert the religious obligatory people who, who are eating this. So we have to, the other rest of the 25 crores, they will eat, uh, they, they gave up eating fish, they gave up eating meat, so we have to convert them to this. And uh, why, why India is the potential market means Indians have 60 crores of uh, smartphones. Not all the phones, we Indians have 60 crores of smartphones and we have 70% of television penetration rate. So digital medium is a most effective tool for promotion of fish consumption. So first thing, uh, we have uh, enlisted first, as it is a creating database. So there should be a comprehensive country-wise database which include the consumer behavior. So which area? The consumer behavior in the sense already we have uh, fish eating pattern of different states, but this should be very as as low as block level. So this block eats this much fish, this block prefers this fish. So there should be a database, pinpoint database like who eats which fish, which, who prefer which fish. So that we will have a data which population or which area people are eating which fish. So that we can guide some fish outlets in that specific region. So lot of people, lot of us may uh, have the perception like may have the desire of eating fish but we don't we we will give up that desire we will give up the idea of eating fish because we have to go somewhere else we don't know where we will get the fish but if we have the data of the behavior so we can add a data additional data where we can get the fish in our nearest area and regional fish delicacies so we have to add different regional delicacies suppose if you go through different uh, we will have get cravings so suppose tamil nadu sora put to uh, nellur chapal Andhra so it is like we'll, we should have, have a database, comprehensive database of different regional fish delicacies. So it will put cravings, not only fish delicacies, we should add their nutritional profile and also nutritional requirements. So generally what we do, we this fish has this nutrition uh, profile, this has this vitamins. Apart from that, what people need, so this age group, age group wise specific, this age group need this kind of uh, nutrients, this age group need this protein, so this fish is uh, uh, rich of this protein, this species is uh, rich of this minerals. So, comparison with other meats. So, we have tried this. So, we should uh, try through different online mediums. We should try. So, uh, fish, one kg of fish is uh, costing this much, 200 rupees. One kg of mutton will cost this much. One kg of other meat cost, will cost this much. And how much nutrients you are getting for the 200 rupees what the customer is spending. So, for 200 rupees you are getting this much of protein. 
about 200 rupees of uh, chicken you are getting this much of protein so obviously fish will outcompete every every other meat so in this in this way we will uh, make fish will make uh, will project fish as a superior food as a super protein so raising awareness uh, boosters influencers you know the power, maybe madras he knows better uh, what is the power of social media influencers so recently ronaldo have thrown coca cola bottle and coca cola company have losing 4 billion that is 33000 crores so we have to hire some social media influencers regional ways so we can give them some uh, money or some incentives and we can boost uh, we can boost them promote uh, the different delicacies uh, uh, showing them and you know the tiktok trends facebook trends instagram trends we can tell them post your fish delicacy cook some fish and post a photo that's a challenge ice bucket challenge that's kind of challenge you can uh, post a uh, challenge so campaigns online campaigns workshops and competitions so we can just put whoever can uh, have the best photo whoever can have the, the best uh, the, this thing so we can have some workshops so many of the people can have the thing have the desire to eat fish but they don't know how to cook the fish so we should uh, keep some online classes digital platforms online classes of cooking the fish not only cooking the fish we should uh, teach them how to pre-process the fish many people give up the idea of eating the fish because it is a hectic task you should bring the fish you will cut the fish they are thinking that it has a Hercule task but we should uh, make the psychological uh, thing that is not a big thing big task you can make it easily and uh, one thing is you have to make and guiding apps so where are the outlets different retail outlets where are the different fish delicacy restaurants all over uh, in your place so based on that based on using the search engine optimization seos sqls all other things if once you type the fish you might be knowing google will say google wants to know your location this wants to know your location so ads in potential zones so like metros and all the, all the digital uh, signboards you can post the, the nutrition profile comparison all the other thing which i have mentioned Changing the perception. Different people have different myths and misconceptions. Some people will think uh, fish is very expensive, but we can show this. This, according to your budget, this fish is having this nutritional value. Many people can afford can't afford sea fish. Some people can afford tilapia. So we can show in your budget also you can get a super uh, nutritious fish food. And we have to uh, deal in the psychology uh, with the psychology of the people. Many people have the, uh, the you, have, you can't eat fish with the curd or something. So we can uh, with the help of social media influencers or some other tools we can. Uh, we have to uh, change the psychology and some uh, right to information so now we know the blockchain technology and other uh, new technology which has the, all the way from the seed to the plate and uh, the customers you have the transparency and you have the accurate data so there should be blockchain technology we should enhance the blockchain technology in seafood and our the inland uh, fish uh, sector so what is the, what happens there will be the, the customers uh, the credibility of the sector will increase the customers trust will increase so fish vending machines one thing i thought uh, the other groups will involve the fish vending machines so the vending machines now it is a, a booming thing in uh, the metro or cosmopolitan cities so why can't fish vending machines so the people can um, give their credit card or money and uh, they can get the uh, the fish in their style so the fillets are <coughs> as i mentioned blockchain and qr code all the so still we are going for the retail outlets no, not 70% uh, of the market 70% of the business is going still outside uh, the retail market so there they should have qr uh, code on the, the uh, fish or product where if they scan the thing they can get all the data of where the fish has been caught how much uh, time it has been done and what what can be the possible changes thank you thank you Janakya, for walking us walking us all through the digital landscape of increasing the fish consumption really we are thrilled seeing that in such a short span of time you all have done so much and with this great output now i'd like to call upon Joint Director Sir, N.P. Sahu Sir, to present, uh, to give a concluding remarks to the audience. Thank you very much. Students, particularly last two, three days, <coughs> you are here. And uh, particularly the teams are here. Good morning also. Uh, to all the teams, we have taken all the feedback, particularly for the students. This fish consumption was uh, taken from all the students from the different fishery colleges. Now we have divided into three groups, I was also there with all the groups, very good suggestion has come, now what we will do, these suggestions please give and we will make one comparison and we will give to NFTB, these are the very good come here, suggestions, I hope that NFTB should implement all the things and something will improve, as I told, even if we will try for only 1% population of India to shift to, to order this, it will be enough for, for us to uh, push the uh, fish consumption from 5 kg, it will reach to 10 kg, though requirement is 20 kg, that will be our first target and gradually um, we will move forward because India is a big market, other people are looking for. Even if being Indians, we are 
unable to explore this huge facility. So the students have done a good job and we have to not have much time to spend here. And this 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 type of once in a year we will meet and twice in a year we will meet virtually so that what Dr. Dr. was calling many more uh, things can be sorted out. So virtual meeting and all can join. Now only out of 32 teams and many more can also join virtually. So that we can do frequently and immediately after maybe two three months after we can do it and uh, that will be good to be uh, that everybody will be uh, <coughs> connected and uh, will come forward. All the suggestions that is, you know that is NEP is a very complicated thing. But what I feel personally, at least something we have developed today, this can be refined. Then again it will be circulated among all. And we will come something, when ICR will come for fiscal sector, this will be added up. And finally we will come for fiscal sector without um, adding much things. Thank you very much. Three days was hectic for us. And uh, we know, keeping aside this the tiredness and everything, the output was very nice. That is what we wanted. Last three days, I don't think that everybody has completed sleep. And, but finally, if you see the output, it's tremendous. I could see this program together. Convocations, then um, uh, innovations, then fee swap, convention, then after DJ night also that we have enjoyed, then after today I think this is uh, Greens meeting, symposium, sir, I thankful to directors, total year activity in three days. That is all three goes to students and faculty members. And I think I should our director for concluding remarks and uh, thank you all again. Yeah, good evening. I don't want to hold all of you because actually many of the deans have the flight. So that's why, you know, all the three students, I would like to specially appreciate all the three presented excellently. And I must compliment the whole team. The points were very valid, but uh, don't, um, because we had to stop you because, you know, everybody has to go. They will miss the flight. So that's the only reason. So don't take it otherwise that we stop you in between and didn't allow you to express. But whatever you presented was very nice. I am impressed with all the people. <laughs> As uh, Dr. Dabu said, we will uh, share all this to NMDB, okay? And uh, let us see that, you know, these initiatives are taken so that fish consumption increases. That's what we are all looking. And I'd like to personally thank all the deans, okay? And the, I think, you know, there was a uh, very good discussion in the deans uh, meeting also. Few things definitely I'll assure all of you that we will take it ahead, okay? Yeah, the time was very short, so we could not really discuss at, uh, you know, length. But we will have a more discussion, I'll assure all the deans that whether it is the uh, Fisheries Council of India, whether it is the qualification, all that we will take it ahead, okay? That is one thing. And all the students needs a big applause from everybody, okay? okay. It is, uh, you know, was the telling me they were forward that, you know, made success of all the events today. Today, yesterday and day for us. So, thank you very much and uh, really we appreciate the energy and uh, so much of creative idea, innovativeness which all you people have. And we will continue to be associated with everyone. I would like to thank and appreciate all the committees, everybody, all my faculty, the students, everyone for putting up a good show. And uh, you know, you, have, you people have demonstrated the strength of CAF. Okay? So that's what I think everybody will carry a good memory of this. And now we will move on and concentrate on our academics and our research. Okay? I think we have spent a lot of time for putting up the whole thing. Now tomorrow onwards, let us get back to the our actually what for we are here, you know, the studies, the academics, the research, your future career, all that, okay? And once again, I appreciate everyone's presence here, especially the deans who came all the way. That was really a very memorable experience for all of us getting connected. And it's, a, it's all your own home, okay? With every one of you, all the students are from one of the colleges. So that's what I think as a mother institution, so we thought we should, you know, um, network each other. That's what we have been doing. Once again, congratulations and thanks to everyone. And let us carry good, uh, you know, memories of all these three days. And let us continue to strive whatever is possible from each one of us to see that sector is benefited, okay? By developing our own technology, by our own everything. I think there are a lot of ways where we can help the sector. Once again, complimenting everyone. The discussions were wonderful. So I think actually the time was not enough. By the time we were closing, then the, you know, the heat pick, picked up. Uh, Behera started, the, you know, ignited the whole thing. <laughs> then we had to cool him down, stop him.
So anyway, we'll take it ahead. I'll assure you all of you that CAFE will be always there for you. So I'll assure all the colleges that we are there. So anytime you want to do anything, we will definitely do it. And uh, thank you very much and have a nice uh, journey back. And uh, we will continue to meet. Thank you so much. Thank you, Director, Joint Director, sir, for your inputs and appreciation to students and support and technical staff. I'd like to conclude the session with a message that we need to aim big and do concrete. Goodbye, everyone.